Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about the reasons to think there's more to people than just their bodies, and this time, does God will everything, or only good things? Now, to answer this question, we need to know what the will is. I went through the many, many definitions of this word, and the relevant one is this. 4a. Mental power is manifested as wishing, choosing, desiring, or intending. So, to say a person wills something doesn't just mean they allow something. It means they make a choice on behalf of that thing, wishing, desiring, or intending it. Some Christians believe that God has two wills, an active will, in which he causes miracles and brings things about directly, and a passive will, allowing things to come about through other means without causing them. However, there's one problem with this perspective. Being passive is less perfect than being active, so it's not appropriate to attribute a passive will or even a partially passive will to God. However, it's even less appropriate to attribute evil to God, and we know that evil comes about. How does this happen? How can evil come about if God doesn't will it in any sense? The answer is that people with free will choose to take actions that abuse that free will, causing evil to come about. God's will is involved in this only insofar as his will is for us to continue having and being able to use free will. That's a good thing for him to will. The part that's not good isn't the freedom, it's the abuse. So, there's nothing illogical about the view that God only wills things that are good, rather than evil things too. In fact, that seems to be a major theme of the Bible. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of affliction, to give you an end and patience. Jeremiah 29:11. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2, 3-4 For this is the will of God, your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3a For so is the will of God, that by doing well you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. 1 Peter 2, 15 is it my will that a sinner should die, saith the Lord God, and not that he should be converted from his ways and live? Ezekiel 18.23 In fact, pretty much the entire book of Proverbs is all about how to discern the will of God from foolishness. That wouldn't be the case if God willed everything that happens. Next, can the church be corrupted? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.